This is a short clip from today's podcast episode. So yeah, we are Maximum Plumbing. Started the company out of the basement of my house four years ago. We are now moving into our second nice. location, much bigger facility. Quickly outgrew the first shop that we had moved into is about 1,600 square feet. So we now have about double the space of that where we're currently moving to. And well, actually probably triple the space when you count the office space plus the warehouse. We do residential and light commercial plumbing service in the greater Cincinnati area. And we guarantee maximum quality. Nice. That's fast growth in uh, in four years, Don. What do you attribute that to? A little bit of luck. <laughs> a little bit <laughs> of, I'd say very, very little luck. I think a lot of it has been really just putting the right people in the right places, not trying to do it all myself and, and understanding that I'm only one person, but bringing others in that can help me build that. Yeah. Very, very blessed to be where nice. we're at. That's still pretty quick to recognize the need for, you know, people who are a little more skilled in certain areas than, than you or, you know, than we ourselves as business owners are. So, right. so hats off to you there. What's the, what's the history, Don? Take me to before Maximum Plumbing. Where are you coming out of and what's the skill set that you're bringing in? Why did you open up the company? Yeah, so I'm a third generation plumber. My dad was a plumber nice. for the union. He did a lot of prisons and schools, government jobs, basically down south. I didn't want to move down south, so I never really got the chance to plumb with him. But my grandpa, he owned Dial One Plumbing, but he got sick right as I was like senior year of high school, had to shut his business down. And then he really good business going for, for many, many years. But then as he got sick, it kind of fell with him. But graduated in 2008, so couldn't go directly into plumbing from there. No service company would hire an 18-year-old kid that can't drive a truck. <laughs> so uh, that time in 2008, the housing market was crashing. So a lot of new builders weren't really yeah. building much. So I started doing granite countertops and did fairly well in that, but really kind of saw myself like reaching the max and couldn't go any further than where I was already at. So had to get into a, a more career. At that point, before that, I'd graduated with an associate's degree in business and began plumbing nice. some local companies doing service plumbing. Quickly moved up and worked for a couple of different companies and then finally realized, you know, I, I got my journeyman's and I got my master's. Figured I can, I can kind of do this on my own without uh, having to deal with a lot of the companies. And, and I won't name names or anything, but a lot of companies, they don't really treat their employees very fairly and they weren't yeah. really customers fairly either. So I, I knew I could do a better job and, and a more ethical job than those those guys were. So that's really what, what motivated me to start my own business, just to be the, the ethical plumber out there and do the right thing, not only for the guys working under me, but also for the customer. Nice. 